let's just get a clear explanation. I think that the, uh, the, the Ghana School of Law is being very poorly treated uh, by the media. In uh, presenting the Ghana School of Law at, in, in some sort of dereliction of duty story when they talk about examinations at the School of Law, it's important that we set that record correctly uh, so that people can understand. It's just that people have not paid attention to that part. So the Ghana School of Law itself, as a stance, does not conduct examinations at all. No examination is conducted by the Ghana School of Law, zero, because of, the, of what I'm going to tell you, because of what happened in Parliament. Uh, the Ghana School of Law does not conduct examinations. The Faculty of Law at the University of Ghana, led by Ramona Tuguba, does conduct examinations as a university. All other universities, KNUSC, they conduct examinations. But the Ghana School of Law does not conduct any of its examinations. All the three major examinations that occur around the Ghana School of Law, the first one is the entry exam, second one is professional part one, and the third one is professional part two. All of those have been determined by Parliament to be conducted by an examination body independent of the Ghana School of Law and even the General Legal Council. When that independent body have finished their work, they present it to the General Legal Council. At that stage, Council is able to look at it and say, reduce pass mark, add pass mark, do this and do that, and then they can do it. But in terms of conducting the examination, marking the scripts, Ghana School of Law has nothing to do with it. We just want to bring that understanding, and it's, it's becoming quite worrying, uh, especially what happened on Friday in the middle of the day, story comes out, examinations have leaked, and everybody's talking about the Ghana. I called the director of the Ghana School of Law, everybody called him, and he said, I, I'm also hearing the news the way you are hearing it, because I do not conduct examinations. Okay, so let's go to the touch screen and understand that. It's an, the, the, the LI, LI2355 is entitled Appointment, well, past, past of the LI, not the whole LI. LI2355 uh, has a section from section 12 onwards, Appointment of Independent Examination Committee. And uh, 12 1 says, The council shall be appointed, uh, shall appoint an independent examinations committee. This is a, the council refers to General Legal Council. This was, this LI was laid in parliament and passed by parliament. Number two, a person is qualified to be appointed by the council as a member of the independent examination committee if that person is A, a justice of the Superior Court of Judicature or a retired justice of the Superior Court of Judicature. B, a lawyer of not less than 10 years standing at the bar. C, a legal academic who is at least of the level of a senior lecturer. Or D, a member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana. Very interesting composition, isn't it, of the, of the examinations board. Justice, a, a, a superior court judge, a former superior court judge, a barrister of more than 10 years, legal academic of senior lecturer, and D, a person who is not even a person who is not a lawyer, a member of the Chartered uh, Accountant, Chartered Institute of Accountants Ghana. That's an accountant. Uh, Thirteen says the Independent Examination Committee shall administer the following: A, examinations for admissions into the school; B, examinations for qualification for enrollment; and C any other examination mandated by the council. So the independent council conducts all the exam. Examinations for admission into the school, examinations for qualifications for enrollment, and any other examinations mandated by the council. So when the general legal council set up the academic calendar, and they determined that an examination should be taken at any stage. And so far, there are three main examinations that occur. The entry exam, uh, professional part one exam, and the, uh, the final professional part two exam. All of those are administered by an examinations council, independent of the Ghana School of Law and independent of the General Legal Council, which appoints the council, the examinations body. And they conduct the exams. They choose the venue for where they do the exams and all of that. Let's go on and see. The independent examinations uh, committee shall, A, Determine the venue and the time for the conduct of the qualifying certificate examination and within a reasonable period after the completion of the qualifying certificate of the examination. I, the council will then arrange for the examination scripts to be marked and submit the examination results to the board through the chief justice. The board shall, within two weeks after the receipt of the results, Submit the results to the council for consideration and approval. This is what happens. So there's an independent examinations council. They have a name. They are called the Independent Examinations Council, IEC. 
And they conduct examinations at the Ghana School of Law. So when there are uh, allegations of what happened on Friday, let's find out the examination, uh, Independent Examination Council. Because of the work they do, they are supposed to be sort of, you know, covered. So we don't talk about them. But I'd like to mention their names here. Uh, the Venerable Professor Nia Shikoti, former Dean of the Faculty of Law, uh, who is also a Lance expert, and uh, the, uh, Justice of the Supreme Court, JSC. Professor Kote is on there. Uh, lawyer Frank Beecham is on there. Uh, Dr. Edu Labi is on there. And Mr. Christian Soti is also on there. There are five of them, just five, very, very powerful five, who conduct the uh, independent examinations. They are called the IEC, the Independent Examinations Committee, set up by the General Legal Council, pursuant to LI 2355, passed by Parliament. So we need to get a better way of investigating some of these examinations issues that occur at the law school by understanding that it's not the administration of the Ghana School of Law. So some people, a lot of people abroad who have been writing about Ghana School of Law and why they don't allow everybody to come in and why they don't demystify it and why are candidates failing. All of these concerns and why candidates think that they have been cheated in the exam, why candidates think that they have been victimized by lecturers, all of these concerns building up from the decades ago is the reason why Just Chief Justice Georgina Wood decided to go on LI 2355, draft the LI, and have Parliament look at it that, okay, because of all the concerns that come, the, the law students think that uh, they have been cheated because somebody didn't like them, because the lecturer told them in class that you will see what I will do to you, that has been happening for decades. So George and I would said, we're having too much of this, too many of these concerns. Let us set up an independent examinations council whose membership is appointed by the General Legal Council of this stature, superior court judge, barrister of 10 years, a chartered accountant, put them together, let them conduct the exam independently and just send us the results. So if you teach at the Ghana School of Law, you teach civil procedure or whatever you teach, you can mean, as they say in Ghana, you can mean the, the student, you can mean him for whatever reason, but you can't mark a script. That is the way to bring transparency, fairness. And it was George and I who did that, and we congratulate her for doing that. So since then, this is what has been happening. So when the, the case, 600 people wrote the exam, and only 50 passed, it's the Independent Examinations Council that's making that determination. I don't know why in Ghana we are concerned about that. For the longest time, the last 70 years, everyone knows that the pass rate of New York bar is very low. But yeah, that's it. Every, every year they go to New York bar, they know that of the 100 who are writing, X number will pass a very low rate. It's always low. You go, you try your best, and uh, you hope that you get through it. If you don't like it, you go and write California bar. You can go and write Chicago bar. But as for New York bar, the pass rate is low. Those who become chartered accountants in Ghana, ACC and CA, we know that we have had friends who started in level 200, they wrote ACCA part one, part two, but by the time you meet them 10 years after school, they are full bankers working somewhere or full accountants working somewhere. They tell you that I'm now in still writing the final part. So yes, I mean, there's a hurdle to climb to get to those, those uh, enviable stages, you know. When we were growing up, there was something that says that um, great heights attained by men were not attained by sudden flight, but they, whilst their companions slept, kept toiling upwards in the night. We heard that didn't we? great heights attained by men was not, well, so now we can say great heights attained by men and women uh, was not attained by sudden flight. But they, whilst their companions slept, they were toiling upwards. In the, like right now that we are here, some people are asleep. Oh, they are asleep. They were going to write on Twitter something. They are, they are sleeping. We are toiling. They are sleeping. And then they were going to write something on Twitter. <laughs>